we all come together to learn more about this upcoming program at Northwestern Kellogg Executive Education. Uh, this program is called the Kellogg Accelerated Marketing Leadership Program, um, and it's certainly a marquee program here at Northwestern Kellogg. We look forward to telling you all about it. Uh, this program uh, samples a, a variety of different faculty voices uh, from the MBA program here at Kellogg. Uh, we're going to be touching on two key themes here today. Uh, firstly, what is in this program? What is the curriculum? What can you expect to learn? Um, and then we're also going to be talking about how that curriculum is delivered uh, to ensure that you have a top-notch experience um, as you make your way through your learning. So we're going to cover both of those features here today. Um, with that, let's go ahead and advance forward. Uh, the other star of the show is today's subject matter expert and keynote speaker, Nick uh, Kathensis. He is here with us to tell us all about this program. Uh, you can see here he's the senior fellow and adjunct professor, uh, professor at Kellogg Markets and Consumers Initiative. Uh, professor Kathensis, would you like to jump in and say hello to our participants today? Yes, hi, thanks. Hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Pleasure to be with you here today. Uh, thank you for being here with us as well. We're going to hear a lot more from Professor Vincent here in just a moment. I'm going to hand over that spotlight. Uh, but before I do that, we wanted to take you through uh, a little bit of context setting here. So what is this community that you're joining? What can you expect here um, out of your experience at Northwestern Kellogg Executive Education? Um, this program in particular um, is really set apart in a variety of different ways. And we're going to show you that as we make our way through here today. Um, but the MBA program at Kellogg has consistently been ranked number one in marketing by U.S. News, World, and the Report. So you're, you're certainly arriving um, at a, a community that is set apart from others in terms of being the leaders in innovation in this area of marketing. Uh, so here in this program, you're going to learn from the same marketing faculty that are in that MBA program, uh, sort of collection of faculty expert voices that have brought together uh, to have this comprehensive marketing leadership program. So you're going to not only hear from faculty, you're also going to hear from accomplished industry leaders, a lot of voices coming in to share their perspectives. So you've got those top Kellogg faculty, um, you know, breaking down some of those barriers of the incredible wealth of knowledge housed within uh, this MBA program to bring that to all of you, um, making that accessible uh, through the facilitation of thoughtful discussion in real time throughout this program. So this is a highly interactive, engaging program, a chance for you to get face to face um, with expert voices here um, within Kellogg's MBA program. Not only are you going to explore the faculty and teaching teams within Kellogg, but you also have the opportunity to learn from one another. Uh, you heard me already call out the different geographies that you represent here on the line today. And certainly in the program, your peer cohort is a big part of your learning. Uh, we believe that those peer-to-peer -peer connections allow you to not only dive deeply into these concepts, but really gain that that tapestry of ideas, that expanded scope of understanding, as you see these themes and concepts throughout the program come to life in your work, but also in the work of your peers and in their industry and in their geography areas and their job functions and professional roles, you get to see these themes and ideas uh, coming to life in a full and expansive way. Uh, so we build a lot of those peer-to-peer -peer connections throughout your time in the program. And all in all, it is an interactive experience. There are live webinars, live office hours uh, with renowned marketing experts experts. All of the assignments are based in real world application, allowing you to take your learning into a place of action in real time throughout the program. Uh, you'll gain leadership and career insights from industry innovators. So for those of you looking to springboard into career advancement opportunities, you're going to be gaining those on the ground experience, tips and advice. Um, and you'll have sessions with 15 Kellogg faculty from the MBA program. So certainly, again, uh, this program is a marquee program here at Northwestern Kellogg and an exciting program for you to be involved with. Uh, we look forward um, to having many of you with us. But we know at this stage, uh, you're wondering, is this really the right program for me. And so we've uh, prepared for you uh, some information here about who is this program really designed for. And really, uh, this program is is focused on mastering those team leadership and influencing skills as you learn to uh, make your way through marketing strategies, embrace customer intimacy, effectively connect with customers using the latest tools and techniques. So you're going to learn these methodologies, these frameworks, but all with this lens of team leadership, of really becoming a leader for your organization, for your team. Uh, so if you're already in sort of that mid-career functional leadership role um, as a marketing leader, uh, this is going to be ideal to help you to really spend 
specialize um, and move forward in that area. So if you're looking to get exposure to the broader marketing organization and enhance your leadership, influencing team building skills, mastery of marketing techniques um, beyond your area of specialization, this is the program uh, that's going to help get you there. Uh, so uh, this gives you a little bit more information about some of the specific roles that uh, that you might be in. Uh, so if you're a vice president of marketing, a brand head, a brand vice president, a brand manager, a digital marketing manager, content marketing manager, these are some of those roles um, that we have had in mind when we designed this program. Now, we know this is the crux of why you're here. Is this the right program for me? So as we make our way through the session here today, we're going to be illuminating some of this um, experiential knowledge that you'll, you'll be bringing into the program and that you'll be gaining from the program. A truly a remarkable opportunity for us all to come together to learn shoulder to shoulder about some of these key areas here in marketing. Uh, this is a six-month program, and it's really designed for those of you in that mid-career stage uh, where you're looking to springboard into some, into some leadership positions within your organization. Uh, this program is going to help you explore those leadership skills, effectively develop your team, build your influence, and shape your career. You're going to learn how to harness the power of brands, implement agile marketing practices, use tools of automation uh, to market more effectively and efficiently, establish product leadership in your marketing segment, improve your strategic decision-making and problem-solving skills, develop winning customer experiences across your product portfolio, identify and target the right customers for the greatest value through differentiation, and employ response-based segmentation and automated behavioral marketing to develop more data-driven targeting strategies. So a lot in store here across this comprehensive uh, six-month program. Uh, these are some of those faculty voices that you'll be hearing from. And Professor Kofensis is going to take us through module by module and highlight some of the faculty involved uh, with designing the curriculum here today. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over that spotlight here so we can dive more deeply into the curriculum, learn more about this program. Uh, Professor Kavins is here. Uh, this is a, a little bit more background information here after a career at General Electric um, in multiple senior marketing leadership roles, including Chief Marketing Officer GE Healthcare Digital. Uh, Professor Kavinsis is a senior fellow and adjunct professor with the Markets and Consumers Initiative and the executive director of Kellogg's Chief Marketing Officer Program. He specializes in customer success and new solutions development and is here to tell us all about this program. Uh, for now, I warmly invite into the spotlight today's keynote subject matter expert, Professor Nick Kofensis. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Over to you. Great. Thanks, Marie. And hello again, everyone. Great to see folks uh, on the call from, from all over the globe. That's great. So look, I'm, I'm really excited about this program. You know, as we uh, des designed this program uh, well over a year ago, um, we talked with a number of chief marketing officers about a need in the marketplace and developed this program to, to, to meet that need. And uh, as we've uh, started this program, the feedback we're getting from participants has been very positive. So I'm really excited that we were able to identify a need in the marketplace and, and then create a solution that we think um, works really well there. So before I get into the specifics around each of the modules of the program, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of the context around our thinking as we were designing the program as you know the, the flow and the content that we wanted to use throughout the program. So the first thing I want you to take away from, from today is that the program, this program is really designed to be what we would call sort of a survey type program. So we are gonna to touch around on a number of topics that we think are critical for a modern marketing organization. So as I go through the details of the modules, what you're gonna see is we're gonna cover a broad array of topics, but we're not gonna go terribly deep in any one of those areas. And again, that was very purposeful in the design around the program. The second thing uh, around the design is that as we, as we design this, as Marie said, we, we, we uh, incorporated the thinking that we have for all of the programs at Kellogg, whether it's our MBA, our executive MBA, or our executive education programs. And really, all of our programs are designed to help you build skills in these three areas that you see here. We call them the foundational pillars for marketing success, and that is developing a strategy, understanding your customers and markets, and connecting with your customers. And so, you, as you see, as you will see as I go in more detail, um, this is the, the pillars that we use to, for the flow of the program. The other thing that we did in this program was to weave two additional, we call them themes, into this. The first is around personal leadership skills. 
and some of the skills that we uh, think are important for you to enhance and develop as you take on more responsibilities in an organization. And the second is around uh, this, this theme of leading your marketing team. So throughout the 24 weeks of this program, you're going to be exposed to a fair amount of frameworks and concepts and ideas and checklists and thinking. And what we wanted to do was to offer some modules that will give you an opportunity to reflect on how you could use these effectively and how you could help your team to use these tools effectively. So with that, let me go into a little bit more detail on, uh, on the, the modules of the program. So we start in the first pillar around developing a strategy and specifically developing a marketing strategy. And as always, you, you know, right, you know you want to create your marketing strategy in the context of your overall business or enterprise strategy. And so we started the first module with Professor Tom O'Toole talking about customer centricity and how you want to build out your business approach around having a customer centric viewpoint. Professor O'Toole will introduce two key metrics that you will use uh, throughout the remainder of the program. You'll hear other professors talking about them. And those two metrics are the lifetime value of a customer and the lifetime value of customer equity. Now you can't build out a marketing strategy without uh, thinking through what's the competitive landscape and understanding what your competitors are doing and how you create a competitive advantage. And so in the second module, Professor Carpenter uh, will share with you some of the approaches that companies, as you can see here, Apple, Amazon, Starbucks, approaches that they use as they try to introduce new products and the approaches that they take to influence customers around how they think about those products and in, and in doing so, how they create that competitive advantage, which is difficult for competitors to imitate. In the third uh, module, Professor Mohan Sohani is going to talk about marketing in a digital world, right? So we all live in this digital world today. There isn't this notion of uh, of an analog world and a digital world, it's all digital. And he really helps you to understand how marketing is being transformed in five different ways. The ways that marketers create uh, content, the execution of your marketing strategy and the tactics of that strategy, ways that you can automate the tactics and approach that you take, the role that analytics plays in both understanding your customers and understanding how your organization is performing, and then lastly, in this digital world, the skills that your marketing organization is going to need and how you might need to think about structuring your teams going forward in this digital world. So module four is our first leading the team uh, module that we have. It's again with Professor Sohani. Here he's going to talk with you about agile marketing, the process of agile marketing. He'll share with you a number of examples of companies that have implemented uh, Agile marketing or, or somewhere along the journey, how it's been going for them, the challenges that they're having, and give you an opportunity to uh, think about if you haven't already uh, um, started to incorporate Agile marketing into, into your business approach, how you can start to, to do that effectively. We then have our first personal leadership module. This one is with Professor Carter Cast, and he talks about what he calls career success factors and derailers. So I'm sure all of you today have been successful in your career. There's approaches and behaviors that you typically use. What Professor Cast helps you to understand is as you move up in an organization, whether those behaviors um, are gonna help you to be, continue to be successful or whether they can start to derail you and have you be less effective than you were, uh, than you may uh, like to be. And so also he'll share with you some of the behaviors and actions that high performers take so that they can minim minimize that derailment. So great opportunity to start to reflect on your approach and what things you may need to change. And that wraps up the first pillar of the program. So the second pillar is around um, having a deep, an insightful understanding of your customers and the markets that you're in and that you want to be in. Now you can use analytics effectively to help you both with that and more broadly across your organization. So we start with a module around how you can build a better understanding, a deeper understanding of what motivates your, cust you know, your customers and consumers. Professor Fong really helps you to understand the difference between data and, and insights about your customers and what's motivating them. And once you understand that motivation, you can start to anticipate their needs and cr create compelling offers um, for them in the marketplace. In the next module, Professor Sohani takes a slightly different approach on how you can get these insights around customers. 
What he does is share with you how you can use data around how customers are interacting with you, um, either your current customers or prospective customers, how they interact with you and your competitors. And as you analyze it and evaluate that data, you can start to infer um, through their behaviors um, how they're going to act and create what he calls segments of one that you can then respond to appropriately. We then have the first of three modules around analytics in module eight. We start with professors Eric Anderson and Florian Zettelmeyer. And really in this module, we set the context that analytics is really a leadership challenge. And they'll share with you how you wanna think about leading an analytics approach for your organization. They have a framework that can help you to connect the analytics work that you're gonna to do to your marketing and overall business strategy. That's a theme you'll hear throughout the program, aligning your tactics to your strategy at the marketing and business level. So module nine is one of my favorite modules, uh, I have to say in, in, the, in the 24 weeks. Um, in this module, Professor Funkaneri helps you to understand how we all as humans use our visual system to discern patterns in data and information. And from that, start to get some insights around what is uh, occurring in, uh, in different situations. And once you have that understanding of how our visual systems work, he helps you to understand how you can organize data so that you can start to generate these insights and start to take some actions from them. And then the last part of the module, he also helps you to understand once you have the actions that you want to take, and you're starting to create reporting and information that you want to share with key stakeholders in your organization, how you can do that in a way that it makes them makes it really easy for them to understand what you want them to understand, a really important skill to be able to develop. And then the third uh, module we have on analytics is again with Professors Anderson and, and Zettelmeyer. And this one is around how you can uh, assess what is, as they call it, good from bad analytics. And they'll provide you with a checklist of questions that you can be asking yourself and your organization as you're looking both at the data that was used to assess whether you're making progress to solve a specific issue or not. And then based on that, it helps you to really understand whether the actions that you've put in place are helping you to achieve what you want. In module 11, we bring together kind of this, uh, the couple of topics here on insights and around analytics. And Professor Sohani will share with you some AI, artificial intelligence delivered applications that marketers are beginning to use. And these applications can help you as you're going through the process of working with customers, both in how you reach out to them, engage with them. And then once they're in their buying journey with you, how you can help to convert them into satisfied customers. Then module 12 is the second leading with team module that we have. This one is focused around marketing technology. So Professor Kapolsky first by help, helps by helping you to understand the ever evolving marketing technology landscape, right? There are uh, literally a thousand uh, different types of applications that you can use in the space that's constantly evolving. So first, he gives you a good overview of the current landscape and then provides you with some thinking and frameworks that you can use to assess what are the most appropriate marketing technologies for you to use now and begin to implement in your business and also how you can think through an approach and strategy to implement these marketing technology applications in your organization over the next few years. We then have the second personal leadership module. This one is with Professor Nicholas Pearson is focused on influence. And again, as you know, I talk with chief marketing office and other senior leaders, and they will always say that one of the most important skills that you can build is the ability to influence well, right? You in marketing are typically working with multiple functions and you're trying to influence folks where they don't report directly to you. So Professor Pierce shares with you um, some behavioral factors that help you understand what motivates people. And once you understand that motivate, what motivates them, how you can communicate with them and, have to, and hopefully persuade them to begin to act differently. And that wraps up the second pillar of the program. So the third pillar of the program, again, is around connecting with your customers. You wanna connect with your customers across all the appropriate channels for your business and industry. You want to do that with empathy. You want to create trust with your customers. And so we start with two modules around brand and branding with Professors Tim Hawkins and Julie Hennessy. 
they start by really just giving you the basics on what defines a brand and then start to begin to talk around um, how your brand can add value. And if you're not careful where uh, your brand promise can actually hurt your overall product and value proposition. They'll talk about customer touch points, um, what are customer touch points and how you can determine the, the interactions you're having with customers and whether they're working or not and how to strengthen them. They'll also introduce some key topics like personas and brand design. In module 16, Professor Sohani is gonna talk about content marketing and that starts first by helping you to map your the customer experience, right? So the, the journey that your customers are on and pr prospective customers are on as they begin to interact with you. And once you have that mapped out, how you can align your content strategy so you're pro providing the appropriate content at the appropriate time so that they can begin to take the actions that are needed. He also has a great exercise where you'll evaluate a content hub that you could use where you can provide, put your content to so make it easier for internal and external stakeholders to get at that content. In the next couple of modules, we now sort of transition a little bit. We start to talk about media planning and then evaluating the results of the actions that you take from that planning from a communication standpoint. So in module 17, professors Rucker and McTeague start by uh, giving you a framework to think about how to align your tactics, your marketing tactics to your strategy. And they'll also help you to create a creative brief. And I personally think a well-written creative brief is one of the most important tools for you to have in your marketing toolkit. So they'll work with you on creating a well-written creative brief. And then once you have that creative brief in place, that informs the content that you create and also the communications and advertising approaches that you'll take. In module 18, uh, they'll share with you a, a way that you can evaluate the results of these actions that you've taken. Are you achieving what you are trying to achieve from the different approaches that you're taking? In module 19, Professor Hennessy returns to talk about a model she'll introduce this model that she, she talks about that looks at three key metrics around awareness, liking, and market share. And she'll share with you a number of examples of companies that use this model, and then based on their initial results, the actions that they took to improve the results and the metrics that they wanted. And then in module 20, Professor Tom O'Toole returns to talk again about customers. So he started us off in module one, He's here again in module 20. In this module, he talks about how you can create a customer loyalty strategy and use two uh, key methods around that, around personalization and trigger marketing. We then, in this pillar, we have two um, modules around leading the marketing team. The first is with Professor Eric Leidiger looking at brand orchestration. One of the things we hear from marketers is, is there's a lot of effort and resources put into creating the brand strategy. The real challenge comes from how you try to execute it across uh, the regions of your country or the world and across multiple product lines. And there's often challenges in that. And Professor Leininger provides a really practical model that you can use to help orchestrate the rollout of a brand strategy across your entire enterprise. And then in module 22, Professor Calkins will help you to create simple, flexible marketing plans. I think over the last few years, certainly one of the things we've seen is the need to be flexible around your planning efforts. And Professor Calkins will help you to create these plans. And then once you've created the plans, shares with you ways that you can communicate the plan to key stakeholders so that you get the resources and the support that you need to actually execute. And then in module 23, we have our last personal leadership skill development module. This is with Professor Brooke Vukovic, and she'll help you to work through some approaches that you can take to provide coaching and feedback to your team to help develop their skills and the ways that they can do the same with their, with their teams, right? The more you improve your team and, and effectiveness, the, the better uh, leadership skills that you'll be able to have. So then we wrap it up in module 24, you'll be six months into the program. So this module is intended to give you a wrap up of, of the content throughout the entire program. And equally importantly, um, get you to work through an exercise around action planning. You, you think about the top one or two, possibly three actions that you wanna take that are focused around um, how you can improve your organization or your marketing team, things you wanna do for yourself and really prioritize the actions that you want based on what you've learned throughout the program. 
So throughout the program, the professors are going to be do, uh, sharing with you some case studies. Um, they'll also have a number of examples from different companies. This is just some of the companies you see the logos here of companies that you'll read about or talk, uh, you know, talk about throughout the program to help you to get more uh, insights and learning throughout the program. So that was a pretty quick overview of the modules. We'll be able to take questions as we go through it, but I'm going to turn it back over to Marie. Uh, thank you so much, Professor Kofensis, for taking us through uh, those important module details and helping us to gain those insights about what we can expect across the six-month learning journey. Um, I'm going to pick it up from here um, and, and take us a step forward as we're thinking about the case studies, the industry examples. Um, what are some of those other interactive components here uh, that you can expect throughout the program? What is that day-to-day -day learning experience like? Uh, so I'm going to take us through about five minutes of an overview of that learning experience, and then we're going to open up the floor for questions. So if you have any questions for Professor Kofensis, um, now is the time to put those in the Q&A box. Uh, we're going to be getting to all those questions here in just a moment. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and dive into some of the details around the learning experience and really the two words um, that you can take away um, from what the learning experience is like is convenient and interactive. So we've managed to blend together synchronous and asynchronous components um, to allow you a high level of convenience. Uh, we know many of you are full-time working professionals with family responsibilities, um, other responsibilities, and we wanted to design a program that would allow you to take your learning with you uh, through your career and through your other responsibilities. So a lot of the, the information here, a lot of the activities um, are housed within a platform that allows you to design your own schedule. So as you're looking ahead across these six months, you might be thinking, how am I going to fit this in? Um, we've, we've designed a very, very flexible program. Um, all of the content uh, you can access on the go from your mobile device or tablet you have access to the program for an entire year. So it is a six month program, but you have an entire year uh, to touch into those videos, those assignments and continue your learning throughout. Um, and then throughout the program itself, any of the live teaching sessions, so we talk about interactive and convenient, um, any of those live interactive synchronous learning sessions, those are all recorded just like today's session is being recorded and they're posted into the platform. So even if you have to miss a live event, you'll have that simulated live experience Experience the next day right there in the platform um, on demand uh, at a time that works best for you. You'll see the chat, the questions, and all the interactive activity that took place. Um, however, if you are able to join for those live sessions, it's a crucial opportunity for you. There are live webinars as well as office hours throughout the program. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to turn on your camera, your audio, and engage in those live interactive sessions that really help to deepen and strengthen your knowledge. Um, so that synchronous, that asynchronous blend, it's a big part of how we're able to develop a program that's both convenient as well as highly interactive. And the other thing we like to talk about here is that the bite-sized learning pedagogical approach here. Um, and what that means is each week, uh, you'll have a, a set of content released at the beginning of the week. These include um, on-demand video lectures from your course faculty um, that really take you through those concepts that Professor Kofensis has described for us. Um, action planning with feedback, uh, case study analysis, analysis, assignments, knowledge checks, all of this um, within that, that bucket of content then that gets released at the top of the week. Um, you then have that full seven days to make your way through that content at a pace that works for you. So you'll be watching the, the short five to seven minute video segments and then stepping away and rolling up your sleeves and really immersing yourself in the learning uh, through a variety of these types of activities. So in that way, we're able to break down some of those barriers of space and time uh, that you would typically see in a traditional classroom environment where you only have a certain number of seats in the room, a certain number of minutes to get through a certain amount of content. Um, here in the online space, we're able to break down those barriers and deliver that content to you in a way that allows you to learn as you go in real time at your own pace and around a schedule that works for you. Uh, so it's truly a remarkable environment here as you're joining this uh, collaborative peer-to-peer -peer learning course um, that allows you to learn short shoulder to shoulder with a truly diverse group of peers, um, all learning, um, uh, you know, within within the, a schedule that works for them. So a truly a, a, an important opportunity for you as you think about, you know, what sets this course apart? What is that pedagogical approach and how is this going to add value to my learning experience? Uh, so that opportunity to learn in real time, learn as you go and really be the driver of your own learning experience. This is an executive education program. No two cohorts of this program are alike. So you're going to be coming into this program with your 
your own knowledge, experience, expertise, you're going to be contributing uh, to the learning environment as well as receiving. So um, you're going to be developing and designing that learning community as you go with your cohort. Um, so if you're looking to reach out for additional resources, if you discover a niche area of interest and you want to dive more deeply in, uh, you'll have those opportunities to get those resources. You're going to have a full and expansive uh, teaching team and peer network uh, to draw from as you make your way through the learning. Um, all of this culminates in a chance for you to earn a credential here from Northwestern Kellogg Executive Education. This is a sample of that credential here, a chance for you to really formalize your training and showcase your learning and your expertise in this area of marketing leadership. Uh, so you can see here, this is signed by Thomas O'Toole, the Associate Dean for Executive Education, as well as the Dean here. Um, both of their signatures here, you can put this on your LinkedIn profile, your resume, bring it with you to a job interview. Um, certainly for those of you looking to spread board into career advancement opportunities, um, having a credential here from Northwestern Kellogg is going to go a long way in helping you to reach those goals. So a lot in store for you here as you seek to begin this program. You'll see here it begins just around the corner, um, not too far from, from now. So we want to make sure that you have everything that you need um, as you seek to be begin this program. Um, it's a six-month program, so you might be looking across those six months and you might have questions about the schedule. When are those live sessions held? Uh, we want to make sure that you have an advisor to work with between now and the time the program begins to help get some of those questions answered and to help you to prepare to begin the program. So as you're compiling your application materials and you're thinking about financing options, you're thinking about logistical components and scheduling, uh, we want to make sure you're paired up one-on-one -on -one with an academic advisor. We have a team of advisors here with us on the call live today. I'm here supporting the session in the background. We've got um, we've got five, uh, four, four of our academic advisors here with us live on the call today. So in fact, if you've put a question in the question box and you've gotten a response already uh, via type text, um, that was one of our program academic advisors here in the background and um, helping to support the session. So how do you get connected with an advisor? Uh, there's a couple of different channels here for you. You'll see there's a QR code right there on your screen. That'll take you right over to the landing page. Uh, you can also click on the link in your chat box. If you open the chat and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see we've posted a link there for you as well as an email address. That link is going to get you over to the enrollment page as well. Um, once you're here on the enrollment page, if you click on that, that orange or that yellow apply now button there, um, that's going to allow you to do two things. Uh, firstly, you'll be able to download the full course brochure that contains all of the curriculum information described by Professor Kofinsis here live today. It contains a lot of those uh, learning experience components, information about the case studies, everything you need to know about the program is contained within that brochure. So you get to download that brochure, take a more detailed look. And the second thing you'll do is you'll have an opportunity to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment um, using a Calendly app. So you'll be able to select a time that works for you to meet with an academic advisor. So go on over to that enrollment page. If you haven't done so already, you can use the QR code or the link in your chat box and get connected with the program advisor through that apply now link. Um, you can also send us an email if that works better for you, if you'd prefer to communicate over email. Uh, we've listed that email address for you there in the chat box as well. Uh, for the English speaking audience, that's Kellogg at emeritus.org. You'll see that right there for you um, in the chat. Uh, as well as that link. Uh, this program is off also offered in Spanish. So for those of you looking to take the Spanish speaking program, you'll see that link uh, to the Spanish speaking enrollment page is there for you in the chat. And the email address there is kellogg.latam at emeritus.org. Uh, so you can choose the, the language that um, best serves your preference, English or Spanish, and click on that corresponding link there to get on over to the enrollment page and get the brochure as well as an appointment with an academic advisor. Um, so these advisors, they're going to be able to help you with those logistical questions. Um, you know, when are the live sessions scheduled? They can send you calendar holds. They can um, help answer any course policy questions you have. How do I earn that certificate of completion? What's the evaluative criteria for the program? They can walk you through those details. And of course, the financing, enrollment, registration, process? Um, are there flexible payment options, special group enrollment pricing and discounts? Uh, they can walk you through all of those details as well. Uh, so certainly, if you haven't done so already, get connected there with an advisor. Um, but while we have Professor Kofinsis here with us, uh, let's go ahead and open up the floor uh, for your live questions. I know several of you are interacting in the chat, interacting in the question box, um, and Professor Kofinsis is here to help answer any of those content questions that you have related to the program. Um, so I do see one here about B2B, B2C. You sort of started to answer that, Professor Kofinsis. I'm going to pitch that one over to you first. So how deeply are we talking about 
B2B versus B2C as we make our way across the six months of content? Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, that's a question we, we often get and it's a good one. Um, as I put in there, the professors will use examples from both B2B and B2C companies. Uh, I'm a longtime B2B marketer, so I, I uh, certainly uh, applied that lens as we were looking at the content for the program. The, the concepts and the frameworks that you'll be exposed to are applicable in um, B2B, B2C, uh, B2B, to B2C. Uh, uh, situation. So it's pretty fundamental and universal. Uh, thank you, Professor Kofenses. And another one came through the chat, you know, how does this uh, program compare to more traditional programs in terms of content and marketability? Um, and then how can a participant cope with different time zones with live sessions? So that second piece, Dario, um, I can I can talk about that second piece here. But when you're when we're thinking about that broader context of um, this program and some of the other programs offered there at Northwestern Kellogg, uh, what would you say the key difference is? I know we have some deep dive marketing programs there at Kellogg that dive into data analytics, some of these other features, where this seems to be more of this um, kind of sample course. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, this program and what, what this program offers versus some of these more deep dive programs? there at Kellogg? Yes, again, as I, as I said in the beginning, you know, right, our intent with this program was really to give you an overview of how, as we call it, a modern market organization um, should function, right? And so, again, going back to the, the challenge we were trying to solve for was the increased spe specialization that occurs in the marketing function today. And so, uh, to offer folks that are at a point in their career where they're trying to prepare themselves for a chief marketing office type role to see more broadly how the marketing function looks and all of the, the different activities that, that occur in it. So um, that's really the intent. Now, you know, again, if, if your goal is to, to, to go very deep in uh, digital marketing or brand or brand design, there would be other programs that we would suggest that you would look at uh, versus this program, which is going to give you that overview. So I hope that gives a, a better sense of the intent of the program and, and gives you some thinking and reflecting around what, what are your educational objectives through, uh, through taking the program. Absolutely. And that's one of the things you can also speak with your advisor about, you know, they, they have that understanding about um, other program offerings too. So if you're looking at this program, you're looking at other programs and you're trying to determine what's really the best uh, course of action for me, there's a couple of things you'll be thinking about, right? So your work experience, is this program really situated uh, in the right place for me, given where I'm at in my career? Uh, you'll be thinking about the level of technical detail you want to go in. So perhaps you're interested in some of those marketing data analytics and you want to dive deeply into how to better define your data. This might not be that deep depth program you're looking for. So as you're thinking through some of these components, then of course, there's the logistics, the length of the program, the hours that it requires. So these are some of the things you'll be thinking about as you're selecting the right program. And that's one of the good reasons to get connected here with an academic advisor. They're going to be able to help walk you through and talk you through some of these things that you're thinking about as you're trying to determine what the right program is for you. Um, Dario, you also asked about the different time zones um, when live sessions take place. Um, and we certainly designed this program to where the office hours are taking place at two separate sort of times to kind of um, help uh, the, the global audience to select an office hour session that works better for them. And so you have you have options available for you uh, to attend those live sessions throughout. Um, but again, all of our material is recorded. Um, so even if you have to miss a live opportunity, if it's not happening in a time zone that works for you or it's in a slot that works for you, you'll be able to go into the platform the next day and have that simulated live experience You'll be able to see everything that transpired, the chat, the questions. You'll see all of the slides. Um, and, and you'll get those dates released far enough in advance uh, so you can really design your schedule around these live sessions. For those of you really interested in being there live in the room, uh, you're going to have all of that released in week zero. So you start the course with something we call week zero, uh, which is orientation week. And that's when you're going to get all of those details, um, the scheduling, calendar holds. You're going to get the details on the evaluative criteria for the program. You'll have an entire week to get to know your, your peers, your colleagues, your teaching team, and get to know the platform before you dive into the content. And so Daria, a lot in store here for you as you're thinking about how to iron out those logistics. Um, you can see on your screen, this is a six-month program, and we estimate in that 
four to 10 hours, four to 10 hours per week, really six to 10 hours, I think um, is the latest uh, descriptor on, on how long it'll take you. So as you're looking ahead across your schedule, uh, you are looking to identify um, those six to 10 hours that work for you within your schedule. Um, so you can take a look at your schedule and say, you know, I'm available in the mornings before work or on my lunch breaks or evenings and weekends and really find those windows of availability within your schedule. And again, those live sessions are all recorded for you, just like today's uh, program is recorded. So opportunity for you to maintain that flexibility, but also engage live. And I think the other thing that we, we like to describe in this program is not only do you have these expert voices in the faculty, um, but you also have program leaders who are at the helm of your day-to-day -day learning. Uh, so if you think of it like, you know, all the different layers of relationships that we've sort of described here, you have yourself as an individual, you have your peers who you're learning together with and from, you have your course faculty sort of sampling across across the MBA program, uh, sharing their expert voices. You have industry experts coming in. You have this broader context here at Northwestern Kellogg, really um, at the helm of the mission here uh, to advance um, educational knowledge. All of this as well, you have program leaders. These are industry experts who are coming into the program and serving as your sort of teaching fellows or teaching guides at that day-to-day -day level. So they're hosting the office hours. They're communicating daily with you in the platform. They're on the discussion boards with you and your peers, helping to drive your thinking and push, uh, push your thinking and, and drive the engagement levels in the program. And they're also giving you individualized feedback on your assignments. So you're not simply submitting assignments uh, somewhere to the cloud, but you're getting that individualized feedback, those perspectives from your teaching team. So a lot of different areas for you uh, to reach out and get that support uh, that you need throughout your time in the program. Your program leaders also help with that career advancement um, uh, opportunities. So for those of you looking to uh, grow your career, uh, come to office hours, talk to your course leaders, talk to your program leaders about it. Um, they can help you with anything from navigating LinkedIn uh, to uh, helping, with your, helping with your career goals, figuring out your job search. Um, all of those are really great things you can bring into your office hours and speak with your course leaders about. Uh, so a lot of opportunity for you to build those relationships, to stay engaged and connected throughout the program here. Um, and throughout the learning journey. So I see we've reached uh, the end here of our question queue, uh, Professor Kavinsis. Um, so we'll go ahead and close out our session here today, but I'd love to invite you in for any final words of wisdom, words of advice. I just wanna say thanks to everyone for taking the time to, uh, to join us today. I hope you found it beneficial. Um, you know, as a former chief marketing officer myself, I, you know, I, I really understand how challenging the marketing world can be, right? You marketers typically you sit at this cross section between brand and product and customer experience and sales and technology. Uh, so it's a challenging role, but you know, and marketing is getting more specialized. So we really designed this program to really to help you both, you know, on a few things. First, understand how a modern marketing organization uh, should be structured and how it operates, how you can be more effective, you know, in both your role and and in leading your your team, and then. Lastly, how you can build your, your, uh, your leadership and your team leadership skills going forward. So hope uh, Kellogg can be part of your learning journey going forward. Thank you so much, Professor Kavensis, uh, for being here with us. It's been an absolute honor uh, learning from you here more about this program today. So thank you for being here and staying all the way through the end of our questions. Um, and to all of you from across the globe who joined in to be here with us as well, thank you for being here with us. And we hope to see you soon in the program. Um, but for now, we will sign off with a heartfelt good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. Thank you again for joining, and we hope to see you back soon in the program. Bye-bye.